Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nature's Always Right episode. My name is Steven and I'm here to show you guys natural farming methods that you can use at home, a market garden, or your farm. And today is a really great topic. One of my favorite inputs is Bokashi. Now if you don't know what Bokashi is, I have a whole in-depth video all about what this is and how to use it specifically for Bokashi composting, but there are many other ways that you can use this. So today's video is all about the seven different ways that you can use Bokashi grain. So one of my favorite things to do with Bokashi grain is to feed it to my chickens. And one, there's multiple reasons for doing this. It's gonna introduce more beneficial bacteria into their guts. And the lactobacillus bacteria that it's introducing is very good at eliminating odors. So it's gonna go through their gut and then when they poop, it'll be a lot less smelly poop and it will be inoculated with really beneficial microbes in the manure itself. So it's gonna enhance your compost making and reduce odor. So here's how I mix up the Bokashi into their feed. If you haven't seen my candy cane automatic feeding system, be sure to check out that video if you're interested in, in making them. But basically I can fit more than 50 pounds of feed. Typically what I'll do is I'll just add a small little handful into the bottom. Pour some in. Fill it up about halfway. Put a really big handful in. Mix it. One more big handful. There we go. And then that's enough that they'll get a few grains. You know, I can even do one more. And this is enough that they're gonna get a little bit of that grain as they eat. If you've heard me talk about Korean natural farming before, IMO three and four can also be fed to your animals for that same effect of getting all those different probiotics into their guts and then they're pooping those out. They're basically spreading out the microbes for us and we don't have to do as much work. So the second way to use Bokashi is to spread it out into your animal's bedding. Now they will eat some of it, but some of it will stay behind and get mixed in. By adding the Bokashi to the floor, we're enhancing this deep litter system. We're making an even more living soil, adding in the lactobacillus microbes that are, that are gonna eat up the stinky smells from their manure. So one really great thing to do with this is when you're starting your living floor is to add a bunch of Bokashi or if you're into Korean natural farming, spray a bunch of lab, add IMO at the bottom, and then start building your deep litter on top of that. So for this, I just spread out, for this whole 200 square foot run, um, I just spread out, you know, four or five handfuls, six handfuls out here, uh, maybe once a month. So between it being in their feed and it being on the floor, this coop has hardly any smell. Um, having these microbes in here at all can also help a little bit with fly problems too. It's not going to eliminate it, but it won't be as attracting to flies. The third way to use Bokashi that I'm going to talk about is the classic way, which is to compost in a vapor sealed or airtight bucket because this is an anaerobic composting process. And definitely check out my Bokashi, Bokashi composting video if you want to learn how to do this. This is like one of the best ways to compost at home. and. Um, add a lot more biology, really good greens. Um, it's fermented, so it just breaks down your compost really well. And we'll even make a, a hotter compost pile a bit easier for you, especially if you're lacking green waste. Now the fourth way to use Bokashi is to use it directly into your compost pile as you're building it. So if you guys have ever seen my uh, how to build a compost pile video, I'll put a link here. But at each layer that you build, I recommend sprinkling this out. So just a handful of each green and brown layer. If you wanna you know, save a little bit of, of money um, and just do half the amount, then I would put it on the greens. These more anaerobic loving uh, microbes will do better on the greens directly. You could add the Bokashi into a cold compost pile too, that's okay. It'll enhance the biology. If I was to just put a bunch of grain right there and then I was to cover it with some plastic or something, I could come back in a couple days, pull this back, and I will see incredible healthy fungal growth, some white fuzz that will develop. And that's the sign of excellent uh, microbial growth. 
All right, so the next way to use Bokashi is to use it in aerated teas. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote one of my videos again and definitely check that out if you wanna learn how to make your own compost or worm teas. But when I add it into this bag here, you know, I'm gonna make, so here's my compost inoculant. Now I'm gonna add in Bokashi inoculant. I'll just add in a handful. So this goes into the tea. Um, and we'll just add more beneficials into your teas. Um, my buddy at SG Microbes who makes this um, uses fermented plant juice, um, different minerals, different things. So he's growing out the biology. He's adding in the EM1, uh, the labs and all that. Then he grows out the biology on the Bokashi grain. So that's why it's so packed full of life. And it's been under a microscope and is healthy, very nice soil microbes. All right, so now the sixth way to use Bokashi is to create what's called a fungal mat. So you could just grow them out on a 10 by 20 tray like this. Um, you just need some soil, sprinkle out a bunch of Bokashi, cover it with some plastic, um, make sure the soil's moist. And then when you come back in about three days um, or more, depending on the temperature, uh, you're gonna see a really thick layer of fungal development. And now you can take that and you can inoculate your compost with it to make a more fungal dominated compost. You can add the fungal flat to teas to help influence to be more fungal that way. And then the seventh and final way that I'm using Bokashi is to collect the leachate. Now when you're doing the Bokashi composting process in a bucket like this, a bunch of this liquid will develop here at the bottom. Well, that's a bunch of pure nutrients and bacteria as well. And that leachate can be diluted and watered in on plants. You can also buy um, vapor sealed buckets that have a tap in the bottom for Bokashi composting. So you can drain it out and use it. Um, draining the liquid also helps keep the Bokashi compost healthier as it ferments. 